Hi guys, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm gonna to share a few tips with you to improve your long passes. So the first tip is your run up, your approach to the ball. Because we're trying to get the ball over a distance, we need to generate momentum. If the ball's too close to our feet, it's gonna be difficult for us to generate the right power to get it there in time. Even though that ball got to Sam, it's floating through the air. So in the midst of a match, that's just giving the defenders more time to close Sam down to pressure his first touch. But if we get the ball out of our feet, it's a lot easier for us to generate the power so it gets there a lot quicker. The second tip is your planting foot. You wanna make sure you're planting your standing foot with your toes pointing directly at your target. Wherever you point those toes, your body follows through in that direction, and that's where the ball typically ends up. If I point my toes to either side of Sam, so if I point it off to the left, as you can see, the ball drifts to that side. So instead, you wanna be really deliberate with your planting foot and point it directly at your target, and as you'll see, the accuracy of the ball improves massively. The next tip is contact area. So the area of the foot you wanna be striking with and the area of the ball you wanna be striking. So we are using the laces right on top of the foot here. That's the hardest surface area that's gonna provide the cleanest strike. But we're not putting our laces flat against the ball like we would a shooting technique and staying upright, but instead we're angling our foot outwards. That's gonna expose that area of the foot that's really sweet to strike the ball with, and it's gonna help you with your follow through as well. So with your planting leg, you wanna have a slight bend in the knee and you're gonna to lean to the side. That's gonna help you angle your foot in the correct position. And it's also gonna help you with your stability and your balance, because the more balanced you are, the cleaner your technique's gonna be and the more successful your pass is gonna be. And the area of the ball you wanna strike is right through the middle. You don't wanna to hit too low on the ball because that's gonna make it more of a chipping technique. And you'll notice the difference here. If I hit really low on the ball, as you can see, it takes a long time to get to my target. And as we already mentioned in the flow of the game, that's just more time for the defenders to anticipate that and start pressuring the player I'm passing to. So instead, you wanna strike through the middle of the ball, but as you make contact, you're gonna chop down because you wanna generate backspin because that's the easiest for your teammate to control. So right through the middle, striking down, as you can see, it goes with a lot more pace and gets to my target quicker. And as we mentioned, we wanna generate backspin. If we're curling the ball into our target, even if it gets there, it's a lot more difficult to control. Sam, can you just pin me one with curl, mate? So as you can see, you can control a curling pass, but it just takes a lot longer to get the ball under control. So if you wanna be a top level player, the idea is to get it to your teammate with the right texture so that they can get it under control quickly. So instead, Sam, can you play me one with backspin now? So notice the difference here. As he plays it with backspin, it's really gonna pop off of my foot. It's gonna be under control instantly. So as the ball comes in with backspin, so under my control in an instant. So that's a huge difference between playing the ball in with curl and playing it in with backspin. And the final tip is your follow through. With your follow through, you don't wanna be following through like you do with a shot. That's gonna add all different kinds of spin. It might make the ball knuckle. You really wanna minimize the follow through to generate that backspin. So as I strike the ball, you'll see I keep my follow through low and I step across my body. That helps you cancel out the follow through. And also when you follow through, whether you lean back or lean over the ball determines the height of the ball. So if we're in a situation like this, when we don't have any defenders between me and Sam, and I wanna get the ball to him quickly, if I lean over the ball, that helps the angle of my foot become more flat, so the ball travels lower to the ground. So if I lean over it, I can get it there along the ground. But if we're in a situation where we have some defenders in between us, and we need to get it over them, if you lean back, again, it's gonna make the angle of that foot lean back, so you can get a little bit more underneath the ball, and it's gonna generate height. So see the difference here? If I just lean back slightly, allows the ball to go up in the air, so it's gonna clear any defenders in between me and my teammate. So 
there we go guys, a few tips to help you improve your long passing technique. But if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button for weekly training videos, and I will see you guys in my next video.